Okay, you made this. What's up with everybody, man? I'm your host, Ivy, and you're sparking up with Vans and Weed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that post notifications button, man. Today we got passwords fucking with us outside. You know, you know, you know, good nature vibes. <laughs> oh yeah. Smoking, you know. Uh, my first type and of foremost, vibes. first and foremost, man, shout out to social media and tell the people where they can find your music. Oh yeah, uh, social media, Twitter and Instagram, pass five one zero. Um, my music is on every platform. I just dropped my my first solo uh, project. It's called Flowers. Mm -hmm. You can uh, find that Apple Music, Spotify, I think Tidal, Amazon, all the platforms for you slap music at. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Make sure you go slap that. Go get that one for Please. sure. For sure, for sure. So, uh, can you tell the people that's watching who aren't familiar with you, uh, who exactly is Passwords? Oh, man. Um, shit. My name is Passwords, aka Pass. I'm from Oakland, California. Songwriter, rapper, <clears throat> fucking cartoon writer. Oh my God, let's talk about Goddamn, that yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, battle rapper mm -hmm. as well, which is probably how most people know who I am or recognize my name and stuff. Um, and yeah, I think, that's, I think that puts it, you know, there's a lot of stuff behind the name, I suppose, right. or behind who I am, but right. that, that should do. Let's talk this cartoon writing. I didn't know anything yeah. about that. So mm -hmm. what, what is that about? The cartoon writing, like, have you wrote any? Um, hmm. Working on the uh, last couple of years, I was uh, kind of tapped into, I guess it actually started around the uh, Trump election and, mm -hmm. and when COVID first started and stuff like that. Right. Basically got tapped in to start making uh, rap cartoon content that sounds so good and we had like different like we did like a a battle with like biden versus trump mm -hmm. and we did like 20 different things with different type we had like a vaccine versus the covid little yeah, thing you know i'm saying yeah. and we were just making like you know we were we were me and some friends of mine who were also battle rappers and these these folks just uh wanted us to basically write mm -hmm. um for you know these particular uh, content that was like just supposed to be pushing people to think about shit and right, right. it wasn't necessarily to take a particular side or anything. Mm -hmm. um, so that's how I got started in this shit, and yeah. then and then it it, uh, it really has gone from there. Like me and these same group of guys, like you know we were hired by somebody to do all that stuff, mm -hmm. but then we were like, man, we could do our own thing. You know right. what I mean too and. Mm -hmm. Um, we actually uh, worked on a, a show. We, we created like a whole series. Uh, had like the intro theme song animated mm -hmm. and yeah. all this stuff, yeah. and like wrote it. And we had uh, you know Don Richard from you know making the band and mm -hmm. shit. Like she was associated so with it. And we had some other people too yeah. and stuff. And and uh, we like met with HBO and shit, mm -hmm. and it never nothing ever happened. Oh. And. Uh, but it's, I'm also still working with these guys in another capacity, still doing rap cartoons, mm -hmm. uh, which is like, there's a, it's called the rap off. And okay. we've had, a, there's this, you know, a couple years ago, it was a really big, like, uh, viral video, ketchup versus mustard. Mm -hmm. It was a rap battle yeah. and it went off. A lot of people seen it, you might've seen mm -hmm. it, whatever, I, I don't know. I've seen that, yeah. And yeah. then there was cat versus dog. And the thing that made it really special was that we got, uh, it wasn't just like some corny dudes right, trying to write a, rap battle for a cartoon it really was we we were writing and we're all battle rappers and we were hiring real battle rappers to do the voices and yeah, shit you know yeah. what i'm saying so you hear it and you know we just did another video this this going up uh we had method man mm -hmm. uh voicing mustard that's so <laughs> and, dope. Uh, and then the dude uh nims who is the Bing Bong guy? Bing Bong, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, 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 yeah. That dude, he's a, a lot of people don't know he's a battle rapper. Like we've known him, I've known him for hella long. Like he's from, you know, I forget where he's from, Bronx maybe, Queens I'm sure or something. Didn't know that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
but yeah, so he did a voice for us and shit, and so, um, yeah, so we're still pushing the line on that. It's actually been taking up a lot of my time lately, right. and in the past, like, year or so, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's pretty dope. That sounds so saucy. I never heard no shit like that. Where can we find that? Where can um, we that? You can go to Rap Off TV, mm -hmm. uh, Rap Off Battles. If you look up the Rap Off, you will find it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's nothing, it's nothing out there like that. Not no Battle Rap cartoons. Hey, yeah, man. That's, that's just different. I didn't think that was ever going to be something I was going to be doing. Yeah, I, so I didn't, I I didn't know I was a cartoon writer until right. two years ago. Right. <laughs> but, uh, but I am now. So. Right. That's dope. I want to do the same thing. I fucking love cartoons. Like stop motion and shit like that. Definitely want to do Oh, man. For sure. So uh, let's take it back a little. So we, yes. know you're, uh, we know you're from Oakland. Yes. Tell us about your early years and how did growing up in that city mold you into the man you are today. Mm. Uh, well, Oakland is a really, uh, really unique, special place. Like, uh, I grew up in North Oakland on 45th. Uh, you know, I stayed right by uh, Emerson Elementary. Mm -hmm. But also, I was kicking it, like, all over the North and South Berkeley and shit like that. But I also, like, was just... Uh, you know, after like my parents split up, I was kind of living all over all over the town. Like, I right. didn't live, you know, by MacArthur, like 35th. Um, stayed over by the lake for a long time. Like, mm -hmm. When I was in high school, went to Oakland High for a little bit. I went to different high schools and shit. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I think that I, I was in this unique privilege of being able to soak up like game from a lot of different sides. Like, you know what I mean? From just from going to turf to turf is like one thing. It's like different, you know, from North Oakland, East Oakland, West Oakland and stuff, and South Berkeley, and there's so much nuance and stuff to like the street politics and shit like right. that. It's like actually really interesting if you could, if you dissect it. But then also like, you know, kicking it with like skater kids and stoners and people that were like musicians and stuff. It really like every different part of the spectrum, like every, notch on the spectrum was like just really significant to me and mm -hmm. that's why i'm like there's a little bit of everything like you know black power liberation and shit and then also like fucking yeah dude yeah, surfer, sure. you know, like that type yeah, of shit you know yeah. i'm kicking it with skaters mm -hmm. i don't know shit i'm not a skater i never jumped on a skateboard right. but i know about the culture just because sure. i didn't kick it with them mm -hmm. and so i think that um that's something that i don't think is talked about a lot like people just think of oakland as like you know, oh, you're like a gangbanger. Right, like, bro, we right. don't even got gangs. Right. Like, y'all don't even understand right. the culture right. out here, bro. Right, they don't. And, and it's, um, yeah, so all of that really was really significant mm -hmm. in, in shaping everything I do. Right, right. The Bay is like a huge melting pot. You got it. All, all walks of life, all type of people you can hang out with. Your friend might be white, black, Mexican, Tongan, all type of people. You know? Bro, you got a best friend that's Filipino for sure. For sure. Like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, you know what I mean? All yeah. type of people. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Cambodians, man. Yeah. man. Like Vietnamese folks, everybody, exactly. girl. That's, that's what I love about it, too. It's not just, you know, one type of people, or you know what I'm saying? So, um, that shit, I don't think people really understand that it's a, like, I, I didn't really get that till I started traveling. Yeah. I go to other places and stuff and I'm like, things that are normal to me. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh man, that's crazy. That's, right. and after having done a lot more traveling, I'm like, all right, this is some Bay Area shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, this is us. It's nothing really. like the Bay for real. Mm -hmm. It really isn't. Uh, so what was played around right. the house and uh, what are some musical influences you had? Ooh, I love that question. Hold on, man. Smart like <laughs> up. Mm -hmm. Mm. Damn, you are influences. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is spicy. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote, sometimes I put too much, like, you know. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> Spice. Um, man, yeah, music uh, was such a huge thing in my household. Um, my mom's was, I mean, yeah, if you ask my mother, she'll tell you that, like, when I was a kid, I was like, running around imitating like James Brown mm -hmm. when I was very very young like before I can even remember you know right. what I'm saying like but I was running around trying to dance and trying to scream like James Brown and yeah. shit Michael Jackson and stuff like that mm -hmm. um, all that shit man parliament was really significant mm -hmm. um, but then other shit too like my mom's like you know had me listening to like Bob Dylan and shit like that you know what I'm saying <laughs> like and like, uh, what's the guy's name who fucking sings with the, who sings the song Hallelujah? Oh my God, Hallelujah! Yeah, yeah like, and he's he's you know a white dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
so, and there was there was a lot of like studying of music going on, and that was that was really dope for me. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Growing up in it's kind of like different genres, not just you know you not just listen to rap, not just listen to R and B. Yeah. Of everything. My mom was a little older. Like she, I mean, to me, like she's you know I'm. 34 and she's like 65 oh, and yeah. so she was listening to old school shit mm, back in the day yeah. like it wasn't like I, I didn't have like a mom that was listening to like Ice Cube yeah, like she was yeah. hating when I was playing Too Short she right. like <laughs> Turn that shit she, I got in so much trouble <laughs> listening to Too Short I remember right. it like to this day you know what right. I mean being right. told like what is that right. <laughs> turn that off yeah. Yeah. like oh shit I'm sorry yeah the old generation was definitely not doing that yeah you know what I mean <laughs> um so uh, last month, correct me if I'm wrong, it was last month, right? You dropped uh, Flowers? Yeah. First, uh, yeah. Uh, yes, May, yes, that's yeah, correct. Yeah, uh, your, your first uh, solo album, yeah, like I said, titled yes. Flowers. The cover yes. is dope. Uh, Kevin Thank you. Allen, formerly known as Earth the Jerk, did yes. a great job with that shoot. Yes. What was the concept around that, and uh, what was the journey and inspiration behind the, the whole uh, project, the whole album? Yeah. Uh, oh, man. Um, well,. I've been doing music for such a long time, and I've been, you know, working with my brother, uh, my partner Apes, is a rapper as well. He's incredible from Oakland. Um, we've been making music together for a long time since we were in high school, mm -hmm. and ever since then, I've been like just, you know, freestyling, battle rapping, and all that stuff pretty seriously. Mm -hmm. um, finally, came a time. I'm like fast forwarding, but I started working with. Kev, Irk, you know what I'm saying, on Grand National, with the, which is a giant crew of all these amazing artists, and we had just done um, our project, we had just done, a, put in a bunch of work making a gang of songs for that shit, and then I was like, man, I really want to start doing my own songs, like I never really had done that before, and so I just, hey, I came to them, it was like uh, Kev, Monty, uh, Monty Draper, Brookfield, Deuce, it was like, man, I got some songs, man. I'd really love, like, you know, I want to do an album, and I want y'all to help me, mm -hmm. and I want y'all to, like, kind of, uh, you know, make sure I'm on the right track and shit like that, and I had a few songs. Flowers was one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, was one of the songs. That's, like, a title track of the album or whatever. Yeah. And when I when I did that, I played that for them. When I got their reaction, I was like, okay, this is dope. Yeah. And yeah. then I got really excited, and I'm like, and then I was like, I think the album could be called Flowers. Like yeah. the song really, I don't, it was not, it was just easy. And then as soon as I thought that, I was like, I could do an album cover with flowers in my beard. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I've never seen that. It's super dope. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. I've seen that, but never on an album cover. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yeah. You know, and I knew a florist and she hooked it up and mm -hmm. Kev shot it. Cause he's also not just like a rapper, not just a singer, not just a, fucking executive guy like he also you know a photographer and we yeah. went to his studio we shot it um had uh, uh demandre uh damn, i forget i forget this brother's name right now but he's like an incredible lighting guy and he fucking killed it that day yeah. and uh yeah so that's pretty much how it came together for sure i, I like that cover man it, 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 the, thank you the quality is dope the, the concept behind it is super dope I actually never seen nobody put no flowers in their beard. I know you said you yeah, before, I've but. seen it before, and even just like fucking around, like mm -hmm. you know, I put shit in my, you know yeah, what I'm saying, yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. and then I'm like, damn, this is actually. If I had like somebody, because it took her a minute, you know. Shout out to my homegirl Robin, who has a flower shop. It's called Pothead. Mm -hmm. It's in downtown Oakland. Oh, I actually, just them. Yeah. oh, nice. Yeah. It's not in downtown Oakland no more. It's just I don't even know if it's a pop up no more, but. Um, you know she came through and it took a minute it took like an hour just to get all them in there and it kept falling out she had to put them back on and yeah. it was a thing mm -hmm. it was definitely he was a damn ashtray like a, yeah, you, like, yeah. a <laughs> like a like a like i got some house training <laughs> Sorry, jesus christ yeah, um so you don't have any visuals for any of the records uh i don't know you know on, mm -hmm. the, on the album just yet so do you plan on dropping videos anytime soon yes yeah i have I have a video this shot mm -hmm. um and we'll be putting that out soon. Yeah. And uh, and uh, also, uh, you know, ah, I don't know when this is going to be airing. We'll, we'll talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is this live right now? Are yeah, we no, live? it's not live. Okay. For sure. It's not live. So, because, um, okay. Right, right. Um, well, I'll, I, I have a performance, a live at the Reef, uh, which is a live performance I did with Dame Drummer, who's part of the crew, an amazing drummer and singer, musician. And uh, Brian Simmons, who is an uh, incredible key, uh, keyboardist, 
he's plays with Fantastic Negrito and stuff, and he's a part of the crew as well. And uh, yeah, man, we had fun. We filmed it at the lab and just cooked up. Yeah. Trying to do, you know, music music videos is one kind of visual, you know what I'm saying? And so we have a lot of ideas. Right. About, and a lot of other content that we're working on, yeah. Excited to see that. Yeah, sure. yeah. Uh, so let's take it back again uh, once more. Uh, how'd you get into battle rap and how early did you realize you had the ability to do so? Because it can't anybody just be a battle rapper and not everybody can, that's what a battle rapper can actually make a good, like a good yeah. song. Mm -hmm. it, facts. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and you can do facts. both, so. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> how'd you get started? Um, man, how did I get started? Um, super young. I was like, so I started rapping when I was super young, mm. and so, like, I was like in like fifth, sixth grade, like to be honest with you. And I was like totally recording young, yeah. on a little like tape recorder and shit, mm -hmm. just like mimicking shit and actually writing my own raps and stuff. And then mm. when I heard, like, it's such a like long story because battle rap itself has like evolved so much and I was like doing it back when it was like the movie 8 Mile mm -hmm. like when it was like you would show up to a venue and write your name on a list yeah. and you have to battle 10 times that night mm -hmm. but it's like for 30 seconds over a beat somebody yeah. plays and it's you know everybody knows that we're both just freestyling mm -hmm. now and I was doing that right. and I made a name for myself doing that in mm -hmm. the Bay Area especially out here right. wasn't really you know like I don't think people necessarily think of the Bay Area as like a a home to like, you know, yeah. lyricism, battle rap yeah. and shit like that. Like people think of the Bay Area, they think of like E-40 and Keep Short, yeah, Keep the Sneak and shit like that. Yeah. Even though like, you know, Hieroglyphics is out here and, mm -hmm. you know, Hobo Junction, all sorts of shit. Yeah. But, um, but to me, I was always really into that and uh, I just started doing it and then once it started evolving more into like this thing where it was like, okay, now it's it's acapella now you're getting a call you're gonna get booked right. to do this mm -hmm. and you know you're not gonna have to battle 10 times and then win the whole thing in that yeah. night to get paid uh -huh. you actually get in a bag just to show up because right. that's what we you know that's what it should be really right. and um yeah so I, I think i just really built like people just knew of me and they started doing battles out here a long time ago uh, with grind time which mm -hmm. was kind of like the first like you know, one of the first like big things uh, in the new age of battle rap, YouTube battle rap and stuff. Yeah. And um, yeah, ever since then, it's just really been on. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Uh, so how do you go about not taking anything personal in that oh, field? My God. I, that's really what I want to know. Every time I watch these battles, I be like, damn, like he's really going in on somebody. Like, how do you, you know, keep that thick skin? Like, this is just a battle. I don't know. Yeah, you don't do know. I? <laughs> I don't know if I do. No, I'm just playing. Um, no, I, I definitely do. And I think that it's like, um, I mean, first of all, not everybody doesn't take it personally, though. Like, there are some times, like, and I have been in a moment where there was a battle, and like, I'm not going to like put it all on blast because it's like I'm not making it about drama. But there was a battle that I did that's on YouTube now where like you could see in the middle of it that I was upset. And mm -hmm. you could see me turn to my partner and shit and say something. And I looked at him and was like, yeah, it's not cool. Like, I didn't like that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we had to have a word afterwards. You know what I mean? Right. And so there has been moments like that, you know. But at the same time, like, it's we understand the culture. It's almost like. I hate saying this shit, but it's almost like wrestling or something, you know, mm. it's like these guys know what the deal is, you feel me, it's like, I'm not really about to pull up at his house, Right. you right. know what I mean, yeah, <laughs> like, do you know, yeah. do this shit that I just said that yeah. I might do, you know mm. what I mean, but there have been moments, like, people have said people's kids' names, and oh, yeah. See? people talk about dead relatives, See what I'm saying? How do you... I don't know if you ever seen Mr. Fab and Arsenal, no, but I which know. is, I haven't. which, I mean, Arsenal said, the most out-of-pocket shit that you could say to anybody mm -hmm. talking about somebody's you know parents who are deceased talking right. about somebody's daughter talking about somebody you know yeah. whoopie whoop mm -hmm. like it's crazy but yeah. it's understood and and you know um i don't necessarily like when people do that type of shit they don't necessarily do that with me all right. the time that yeah. I, that pretty much doesn't happen with me yeah. you know yeah. but um but it is also just like it's understood what we're doing it's also in the contract that we can't fight. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not. We're not trying to mess up each other's bag. Right, right. 
some people put things in their contracts like you can't talk about this. Mm -hmm. That's never happened with me, but I've heard of it. People right. be like, well, you know, in this bat, you know, it's in writing that you can't say nothing about such and such. Right, right. And it's like whatever. But it is always a thing. I always have to like in the beginning when I bring my friends with me or when they would do battles out here, like I would have to tell them. Eventually, I figured out. I'd be like, hey, bro, don't trip don't on some shit that he's saying. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Like this yeah. is just. It's cool. Right. It's it's cool, but it's right. cool. We have to play it cool. This yeah. is a game. Yeah. And so it's really just a part of the game. Yeah. It, it's funny you say that. Like how it's in contracts, you can't fight. Because I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube where people start breaking out. They I mean, they still fight. Yeah. yeah. It still like, happens though. Yeah. yeah. They be so mad. So I'm like, mm -hmm. how do you not take it personal? Because I know somebody talk about my mama. I'm gonna be over here blow. Like mm -hmm. you feel me? But I did sign up for it. You know. So. You be saying shit and they don't know what they be talking about yeah. too. Like, so I'm like, whatever, bro. Yeah, for sure. It hasn't really happened to me like that though. Except mm -hmm. for that one time that I just mentioned. Somebody right. said something. And, and I was like, mm, yeah. yeah. You would have to tell all that. Yeah, I was yeah. like, hey, man. Yeah. Like, we would throw hands over there. Like, we, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, are we going to have to throw hands now? Right. And I was in his city, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I was like, bro. Yeah. But he he had apologized and he, did that. he was cool and right. it was cool. Right. At least he apologized. He apologized. For Good sure. guy, man. Shout out to him. For sure. For sure. <laughs> so I also always wanted to know in a uh, battle rap do people actually is it actually a freestyle thing? Because sometimes they friends be already knowing the words, what they finna say. Oh, so yeah. I'm like, No, it is it is not. It's not freestyle. It's okay. not even right. it's right. like is it pre -planned? it's accepted that it's like not freestyle. Like like we go up we know what we're finna say. And I mean, it's not like you can do whatever you want in your the time that you have. Mm -hmm. So I could get up there and just freestyle, but I'm finna get cooked. Right. Because this fool's been sitting there for two months writing raps, you yeah. know what I mean? And memorizing raps. Yeah. But honestly, that, just because it's not freestyle, it's like still such a like memorizing, being able to switch things around yeah. that you remember, yeah. being able yeah. to throw in an observational thing in a freestyle mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the middle of some shit that you right. wrote. It's 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 very difficult. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Hell yeah! yeah. I, that, I just wanted to know. I, I didn't expect it though, because I'm just I'm just like I mean shit. If we gonna be talking about each other, I gotta do my research first. Yeah, you yeah. You feel me? Instead of just coming <laughs> in like, oh yeah, fuck you, and then that. What can I really say yeah. if I don't know anything? Right. Yeah. yeah. Straight up. For sure. For sure. That's it's that's a part of the evolution. It used to be like you just show up and you don't know who you about to battle. Right. And it's like right. You gotta go up and you know back in the and on the East Coast and shit like their version of like a freestyle is just like a verse that is written like it's different out here when mm -hmm. we say freestyle yeah. like and it's been like this forever this right. is always a thing that a lot of people out here don't be knowing about we really freestyle on the west coast period right. bay area mm -hmm. la all that shit mm -hmm. we'll go off the top right. in new york a freestyle is like just a verse they have that's ready you really? feel me it's like yeah you feel me like a mixtape uh, yeah, verse I didn't know and they'll so that. a lot you watch all these old battles like murder mook and stuff like that they might not have necessarily known they were about to battle that day right. but they're not freestyling right. you feel me like yeah. that's and it's a it's a whole thing mm -hmm. but but yeah nah nowadays we come in we come in prepared right yeah, yeah for sure for sure so when you yeah. when you actually make music are you uh, are you a writer or do you freestyle when you uh uh, in the studio. I'm writing. Writing, yeah. I've done what I've done before though is like you know, like write in my head. Mm -hmm. How's that possible? Which is, it's like honestly, it's 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 fucking fun like when it happens because it's like, it's like, uh, yeah, you just you know you think of a line and instead of going down to write down that, them two lines you just thought of, you just keep it, and then you can kind of morph it a little bit and then you can think of the next one and then you still just making it all work together like right. it's actually really dope mm -hmm. to be able to do that they say yeah, that that's yeah. how like a lot of rappers work like Lil Wayne Jay-Z mm -hmm. yeah they say Jay-Z never wrote nothing down yeah. you know what I mean mm -hmm. so I don't know I never been in the lab with him but right. <laughs> um, right. Right. but yeah I'm definitely coming in there and um, but yeah also like going in and like not knowing it at all what I'm about to say for certain parts and shit like with music I like to try everything mm -hmm. you know what I mean if there's if I can do it with a microphone, I'm gonna try it. Right. And just see what happens. If right. it's weak, we delete it. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> delete that shit for sure. Yeah, get that out of here. Right. Right. <laughs> so um, in 2018, you were in the uh, Digital Cipher. You graced the, uh, the microphone yes. presence, going crazy. Uh, so yeah. Since that was a while ago. Yeah. How much have you you feel like you've grown? Your artistry have, has has grown from your previous work to you know like stuff you did before, way before to now. Like, you feel me? Like, 
Yeah. So there's a cypher to the, the old paddles, everything. How have you, you know, you grown? Um, yeah, I think, uh, it's funny because I'm pretty sure that's actually when I met Kev, like Irk. I think mm -hmm. it was that day. Really? But, yeah, but, um, yeah, I think, uh, how do I answer that? Honestly, working with those guys and, like, the Grand National crew and stuff mm -hmm. has really helped, you know, with just creative growth and ways of thinking about creating music and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Um, but... Yeah, I, I've always really wanted to be like, I, I always wanted to rap and have people be like, yo, what did he say? Like, that's great. I wanted to really leave an impact. Mm -hmm. And that's just, that's, oh, that's cypher. And have, yeah, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right on. Right. <laughs> and, and, and like, just trying to think about different ways of making impact. Yeah. And that's really, I think, where the growth has been the most, like, mm -hmm. uh, significant. Is right. like, how can I... How, how can I leave an impact in every angle? Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, can you tell the people what exactly is, uh, it's Grand National, right? Mm -hmm. what, what exactly Correct. is that? Oh, man. What is what is Grand National? Grand National is a, uh, is a lot of things. Uh, I think a lot of people mostly who know about us think of it as like a rap group or something mm -hmm. like that. Okay. And, um, you know, that that's not necessarily not true mm -hmm. but i i think it's actually a bit deeper than that like grand national really is like a production like organization mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's every there's we don't just have i mean we have every kind of musician you can think of right. but we also have like photographers videographers graphic designers like a team, it's team. really a team yeah. and team and anyone can come to us and come to grand national and just be like yo, how can you help my project be better and right. you're part of the team now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, so that yeah. is like a possibility, you know? And so it is like bigger than just a rap group. But um, yeah, it's uh, basically, uh, I could name so many names right now and it, it would be kind of difficult, but I'm damn near finna try. Myself, Kevin Allen, AKA Irk the Jerk, Monty Draper, Brookfield Deuce, Black Achilles, Ian Kelly, Mo Green, D. Bledsoe, Rue Shankle. A lot of y'all. It's, it's a gang of names, <laughs> man. Brian Simmons, SK Engineer, uh, Kate Lamont, Jane Hancock, um, who's killing it right now. She's she damn near about to, yeah, it's about to be over yeah. in a minute for, for everybody else. Um, yeah, man, there's so many of us that I'm certain I'm leaving out people, but uh, like I said, it's musicians, singers, rappers, designers, graphic designers, uh, photographers, videographers, uh, really just trying to create high level art, high quality art, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, just basically a group of creatives just trying to create mm -hmm. and just like trying to, you know, help each other for real. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's super dope because we, yeah. you know, I talk about on this podcast how like the Bay Area is like, especially right now, we don't really help each other a lot. It's a lot of like, you know, People be hating, kind of, you know, so mm -hmm. it's, it's good that y'all can come together and, you know, be willing to share, share, you know, your platforms and really get it out there for each other. And I think that was the whole point, like, you know, I, I know, like, Grand National was supposed to be, and it was, it was like, Irk the Jerk was working on, you know, Kev. Mm -hmm. He wasn't even Irk the Jerk at this point, like, he didn't been changed his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, Kev was working on his, uh, his, you know, quote-unquote solo album, mm -hmm. but he ended up saying, fuck that. I'm actually gonna, cause he was like, yo, come to the lab and work on shit. And then he had hit me up and, or I think I might've seen him and invited myself. I'm like, hey bro, I'm coming, like, what's up? And he's like, bro, please. And then it ended up being like, man, this isn't, you know, this is actually something bigger and something deeper. And like when I was working with him and we were doing shit, nobody knew what it was. Mm -hmm. We were just making songs together. Right. And then it really became like, wait a minute, we're doing this. Wait, we can actually make videos. Yeah. Wait, we're, we just like produced Dame Lillard's video or whatever. Right. Wait, we're about to do this and shit. And so yeah. I think the guys like were just like, we can do this, you mm -hmm. know. So like even for my album, like I was like, that's why I was like, yo, they were such a big role in it. I mean, obviously I wrote like all the songs and right. shit like that, right. but they would come through and be like, know. you know, rearrange this, like mm, yeah. you know, maybe not, you know, maybe take this part out, maybe do the hook a little differently, right. you know, oh maybe go to Brian Simmons and have him play piano on this shit, whoop de whoop, and like really kind of like creative directors that yeah. shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah.
That's yeah. super dope. Yeah. Super dope. So uh, you've been a hell of battles in different yeah. states, and cities, mm -hmm. and, and countries. How dope it is? How dope is it to uh, travel and see new things other than you mm. know just the Bay? It's so much more than that. It's it's really fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. Like I've been a couple places that I would have never been to yeah. without like you know battle rap and, right. and stuff like. And I've been to Toronto so many times, you know what I'm That's saying? So like, and it's fucking awesome. I've been to England and been to Sweden. That's so dope. Like, What's your favorite? My favorite trip? Mm hmm This might, this is gonna be really random, but I think it's Detroit. What? Yeah. Not Sweden. <laughs> but it's Not just because places. Sweden was really amazing. England was really dope. You know, it's kind of weird because when I went to England, it's like. I was only I was there for such a short period of time. I had to fly for hella long. Yeah, I didn't. Get there. I didn't really do a vacation thing. Like some some of these guys will be like, "Oh, I'm staying." You know, I was like broke back then. Yeah. Like so, I was like, "Man, I gotta come home, right. get to work. Right, right. I gotta go back to work." Yeah. Like at that time, like right. that was it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I had. Uh, I think Detroit, honestly, blood because. It, it was just hella fun, and people and a lot of the guys from Detroit are really remind me of Oakland. You mm -hmm. feel me? And, I hear that a lot. Yeah, you know I mean, I got to meet Trick Trick. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Who's like super? You know what I mean? OG just in the rap game, period. Right. right. And I don't know why I was such a dope experience to me, but it just really was. And yeah, maybe because it felt like home. It felt like home. <laughs> yeah. I was mobbing around, smoking weed and shit. Like it was yeah. regular. And yeah. you know, going to Toronto is always really dope. Mm -hmm. And um, but yeah, being able to go to like England and Sweden is crazy. Yeah, it is. It's like yeah. something that is very like humbling still. Mm -hmm. Like you know I mean? even though it was like a while ago now. Right, right. But since you've been there, I've been, I've been there. I don't care if it was twenty years, thirty years ago. You can't, been there. I, yeah. can't tell me I ain't been there. Exactly. I've been to, I've been to Uppsala. Right. <laughs> right. And, and Stockholm. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. That's so weird. So how do you stay true to yourself? Uh, a lot of people ride away, especially since music uh, changes all the time to every day. It's always something new. So how do you keep that, that genuineness about yourself? Ooh. That's, yeah, that's, that's a question. <laughs> um, I, uh, it's probably a lot of things. I don't know. It's like a constant journey of trying to stay true to oneself, I think, really. But I think me personally, I'm a pretty like self-aware person. Mm -hmm. And I think that I know my standing in, you know, just life and where I am and where I want to be and the notch that I'm at on that path or whatever. Yeah. And so like, I'm just always like, this is cool, this is amazing. I'm still, you know, still other shit going on. You know right. what I mean? There's still something else going on. Yeah, right. I went to Sweden and England during one of the maniest times of my life, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And so it was, shit was not all good necessarily right. at that yeah. time. Right. So it's not like, and you know also like having friends and stuff like you know like uh yeah, i'll like i'll be out somewhere maybe and like somebody might say something be like oh your password blah 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 mm -hmm. and then my partner will be like man you know you ain't shit <laughs> like don't let that shit you know what i mean right. like every time mm -hmm. that you know what i'm saying and that is cool this shit is funny to me and it's like trust me i know it's good right <laughs> right. right but um yeah i think just for anybody i think it's really just being self-aware mm -hmm. And just trying to like, you know, don't let stupid shit get to your head. Right. That shit will be gone. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. For sure. For sure. For sure. So a lot of people, I ain't going to say men, uh, men and men and women, I would say this all, as a whole, because uh, it's like that. A lot of people don't embrace their grace. But uh, you ain't dyed your beard yet. So how do you how do you embrace yes. it, you know getting older or just you know that yes. quote unquote getting older getting yeah. the grace? I don't know. I mean, to me, eh, it's nothing. I don't even know. Right. Like it's just like normal. It's 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 normal, and I still feel like hella young. You feel me? I feel hella right. like it, I feel I feel <laughs> immature as fuck sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, I don't know. I I mean, I have kids as well. You know, mm -hmm. my son. You know, my daughter's seven but my son is 12 i was very young or i was pretty young yeah. when i when i became a father and in a weird way that kind of helped keep me feeling young you know what i'm saying yeah. like i'm just like they keep you and going. chopping up with him now he's you know he's 12 years old like mm -hmm. and so it's like um yeah i don't know it's hard to explain but i feel like I just feel like this is appropriate. This is like where I'm supposed to be at, where right. I'm at, you know, right. type of shit. That's character. 
Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, I might die this motherfucker though one day, but it might, I might die like blonde or some oh, yeah, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yeah, man. that sounds saucy. I don't know. You know what I mean? I think you can do that. Some weird shit. Right, right. I can yeah. totally see that shit. For like, sure. you know what I mean? I'm bored. Right. <laughs> right. You're bored by your shit. I'm tired oh, God. Of it. For real, for real. Uh, so, do you ever go on YouTube and watch your old battles? Like, I'm talking about the baggy no. clothes battles. No. 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 I don't watch any of my shit, really. Really? Mm -hmm. How come? Is it weird saying yourself or just like kind of yeah, a little bit yeah. or not really cringy like, but just like I don't know. I I, I guess uh, when I you know I just did this tournament, which is different than any other kind of battle thing mm -hmm. I ever done. It's like you know where battle rap is like ain't no there's really not a winner or loser. There's no judges or nothing like that. Right. And it's like you know you both just get compensated whatever and get took care of and shit and there's content for YouTube or whatever or app that they have or whatever right but um, you know there's no judges but lately there has been these things and that's what I was just a part of was this hundred thousand dollar tournament and it like was that that was the first time in my whole time doing this shit where I'm actually going back and watching my shit a little bit like mm -hmm. I'm like not really like hella studying it but right. I'm like just going back making sure certain shit hit because it's like calculated yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah that shit was for a hundred thousand oh, so for I'm like sure. going back yeah. you know, so I'm just making sure like yeah. after I did one I played the tape like okay mm -hmm. so I'm getting ready for the next one right but yeah I don't really watch none of my shit back mm -hmm. like that I don't really I don't really feel like I need to mm -hmm. i guess I don't I know. Know yeah i feel like yeah. i know what i did yeah that makes that make, that make a whole lot of sense mm. that makes hella sense for sure you know what I'm saying? right i don't know right so uh what's <laughs> what's fatherhood like and what's your favorite part about being a dad oh man mm -hmm. just i don't know it's all of it <laughs> <laughs> like yeah just i mean okay this is gonna be extremely cheesy sounding but it's just the truth like when you're fucking kids bro like Dad, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like I love you, Dad. Yeah. Like all, like you know, hella, like genuine and yeah. shit. Yeah. Like get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like it's the best feeling, literally, ever in the world. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, it's it's amazing. And my son is like, you know, he's like, do you know this Easy E song from like from this one album? And shit? I'm like, what Easy E? Right. Like, what are you? How do you know? What are you talking? <laughs> right. I don't even know this. No, I don't. Right. right. <laughs> like. You know, my daughter even is, you know, everything. Mm -hmm. It's it's just amazing. Yeah. Like, yeah, my kids are pretty awesome. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, that's oh, sure, shit. Sure. No, you all good. Bad, a little Teach and Sean. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you know? That's hella clean. Oh, you have the other? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Teach and Sean. <laughs> for real, for real. Diamond and Duo. So, uh, the style evolution from the early 2000s Bay Area to now is crazy. We all, we all seen it. You've been around for for a yeah. long time, and not you know from the, from the long tees, baggy jeans, like I was talking about. Uh, how would you say your personal <laughs> style uh, has has changed? It's just My personal, your personal style? style. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, shit, I don't. Uh, it's like you, you're more. I thought you were talking about something else. Actually, no, now I know no. what you're saying. No. Yeah. Um, shit. Um, yeah. I mean, I think uh, I was always like really into like uh, even back then I was always into you know sneakers was my thing yeah that was like all i cared about mm -hmm. like as far as fashion you right. know what i'm saying it wasn't right. really like i didn't really care about the fit yeah, per se yeah. i was like still like just mm -hmm. grimy with it yeah <laughs> but yeah i think i you know just getting older just paying attention and you know i started a lot of my friends are like clothing designers and fashion designers you know i have like one this one guy i know victor um it's like you know has incredible jackets and yeah. shit like that and he just tells me all the time about different fabrics and just mm -hmm. over time i just became like kind of a nerd about that shit mm -hmm. so i just like start you know being like oh it's this kind of denim you feel me what right. is this you, right. oh japanese denim yeah you yeah. get that yeah. you know type of shit uh -huh. or whatever but more in tune now yeah, yeah a little bit yeah, but little like bit. you know yeah. i don't really you know i'm not like my partner be making fun of me i'm like bro listen i'm not I'm balling on a budget, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, like, I don't, yeah. I didn't get this. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't cash out the what y'all think I cashed right, out for this. You right, feel me? I figure, right. I figure shit out. I find mm -hmm. shit. Yeah. I'm like a, a, a thing finder, mm -hmm. <laughs> a deal finder. Yeah, you know yeah, you for sure. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Like that type of shit. Yeah, yeah. You give me cozy vibes. You yeah, know? yeah, you cozy know what I'm saying? Vibe. Yeah, That's the style. yes. Cozy vibe. 
For Thank sure. you. Yeah. For <laughs> sure. For sure. Uh, so, um, do you plan on doing vlogs so that fans can see, you know, more behind the scenes of who you are? Vlogs? Well, yeah. Do you plan on doing hmm. vlogs? Uh, yeah. There's definitely. Well, yeah. I guess some of the stuff that, like I mentioned, like uh, some of this other content that we have in mind. I guess you could consider some of that might be some blog like mm -hmm. blo video blog type of shit basically right um so yeah i think yeah yeah i'd be down for that yeah i mean i think it's, it's always dope to see somebody that you, you listen to or you like what they're doing behind the scenes yeah and, and yeah yeah hell yeah for sure uh so how many times a week do you hit the studio and what's some essentials that you have to have in there to get the creative juices flowing <laughs> how often do i hit the studio yeah, how often do you hit the studio? man I, know I, I, go try to, I try to go a lot. Yeah, I'm going right after this, yeah. but I actually, it's not very consistent. Sometimes I'll go to the lab just to have like meetings and shit too with the guys. Mm -hmm. Like we kind of our headquarters slash studio. Then there's another studio that I mostly record at. It's actually at this other place called Slap Wagon. Um, but yeah, I, I it depends. Like honestly, when I was doing, I just finished this tournament. Like in april oh yeah so i pretty much wasn't recording a lot mm -hmm. during that time and that shit was going on for a long time it was like from september mm -hmm. it was hell long yeah it was very long you was on the road the whole time with that or it was just kind of, um you just come to a city did the first like, one did the first one in atlanta mm -hmm. just on some it's kind of like a weird just thing to happen they have four divisions northwest south and east i was in the west coast division but mm -hmm. they some fucking weird shit basically happened. I actually came in the tournament late to replace somebody, which is kind of cutty that I made it to the finals and I was like a goddamn replacement man or whatever. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, you look quite crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, during that time, I was super focused on that. So I'm just now, like, getting a regular studio schedule going. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm trying to get back to it. Yeah, I'm like, I'm ready to cook. Like, right. yeah, right. I'm seeing it, all the other homies cooking and shit. I'm like, nah, bro. My time. It's yeah, I'm yeah. ready to cook too, man. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, what do you say? What would you say is the next step to furthering your career to get you to that next level? Like, hmm, probably, probably a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Um, well, let me like this one. I mean, I think for anybody really, I guess it's like just awareness, mm. trying to get as many, cause like, I already know that the music quality is like high level right. and, and I'm comfortable like saying that because like, I didn't do it like by myself, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like it was yeah. like. It was like a collect, like I don't make beats, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like every producer who was on there is a part of the reason why it's high level art too, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like so, um, I think that, you know, just being able to do everything that I can to just get as many ears on it as possible, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you know, people sharing it, people doing interviews and stuff so they mm -hmm. even figure out who the fuck is this guy you right. feel me whatever right. like um and uh yeah you know just getting getting more ears on it mm -hmm. i really think is the goal because to me that's all it takes because you hear the music and it's like like come on listen to that. right like what right obviously you've been doing something right this whole time because you've been doing this for so damn long and you're still here people you, you know People still looking for you. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. you feel me? A lot of people come and then they leave. And we good about their ass. We ain't even no no interviews, no nothing. You, yeah, they, yeah. they drop from the face of the earth. We ain't hearing nothing. You know. No, so, and I feel like I'm. I, I appreciate that because mm -hmm. the crazy part is I feel like I'm just like getting started. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. things is mm -hmm. all of that was for this moment and then mm -hmm. now I'm like, oh shit, okay, yeah. now we about to start. I'm going crazy for something. Now we about to start. Yeah, yeah. So, exactly. yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, though. for sure, for sure. So the infamous question is, what you smoking on, man? Oh. Uh, I think this is some peanut butter breath. Oh, I love peanut butter breath. Yeah, but I had some, uh, I don't think I have it, man. 
I had some yo play. Mm -hmm. I said, is that how you pronounce it? You yo ever play? had that? Yeah, the, the, uh, the goddamn. The yogurt name, Yoplait? Yeah. Yeah, like that? Oh, they got, they got a weed called Yoplait? What the hell? I, hey, listen. <laughs> that shit ain't type of day. I was like, I need that every time. Yeah. Down here. Like, yeah. I got some, I was like, I got this. I'm like, but I, let me use some of that too. Yeah. It's just that it's just very, it smells so good. It's very sweet. Mm -hmm. They're not very sweet, but you could taste like the sweetness mm -hmm. and the and the nuggets, man. It's just hella rock solid and yeah. very crystal-y. That breakdown yeah. is real is real many. Oh man! I wish I had some to fucking you give to you. I would I would give you some right now. Oh shit! This is some cool though. Look at this. I mean, they can't see it. But yeah, this is uh yeah. Look at that. Yeah, take it, take it. Oh, come on now. Oh. Take a, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't take the big one, though. Like, just stand. Right, hold up. <laughs> just, hold up. I'm just looking at you, though. Shit. I'm playing. Nah, take the thing. big one. I'm playing. You can take the big one, You giving it to me? Yes. You are fucking lying, for real? No, nah, take the big one. Oh, my nugget. God. Thank yes. you so much. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Definitely appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you. For sure, man. for sure. Uh, okay, so my next question is, what was your first time getting high like? Woo. Oh, man. First time getting that? high. First time getting high is actually a many story. Oh, tell somebody, please. Yeah. Oh man. Put you on the spot. I was, I was 14, and I was with my brother, uh, and his, and, and our homie Marcus. My brother's older than me mm -hmm. by like four years, so something like that. I was like 14, maybe like 13, something like that. Oh, my mom doesn't watch this, but we were. We used to rap together. Mm -hmm. He was in a rap group. The three of us. Mm -hmm. I still work with Marcus to this day. He produced the song Flowers. Oh, that's what's up. Still work with him quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, smoked a joint in, the, in my brother's car. And we uh, had a show. Mm -hmm. We were performing together in mm -hmm. West Oakland at the Mandela Art Center. And it was like a... I, I didn't even know this, I don't think, at the time. It was like a competition or something like that. It was mm -hmm. like, you know, but we were performing. It was like, we are get up there and perform songs. Literally, every, it was like some Apollo type shit. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. like, everyone was getting, like, booed off stage. Yeah. Like, oh, literally, no. every single group, yeah. every single person up there mm -hmm. got booed off. We got booed off. And you was high, too? Yes. It was my <laughs> first time, you know. I was hella young, too. Yeah. My brother and them was, like, 17, 18. Yeah. And then... Um, one person got up there and everybody went crazy for they them. About a bitch. Yeah, it was, and, and I and they had hella people on stage. Yeah. And it was just hella obvious that like it was somebody from like out there and yeah. it was like a thing. Yeah. Right, right. And uh, yeah, and then uh, it was over. It wasn't over. It, we were just in there and then something happened. Seen hella people spread out. Mm -hmm. It was like somebody started fighting and then somebody started shooting. Oh hell no! We all ran up out of there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, damn, that shit was crazy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hell, I have you paranoid my first time smoking. And you shooting too? Oh, no. Dog. <laughs> it was hell, dog. Hell, dog. It was so, pretty uh, fun. What's your favorite strain? What's your go What's your go to? Like, I, I have to have this. Mm. It really does. That, that yo play yo I just play. had <laughs> is damn near my that favorite that? joint right now. Yeah. But nah, um. I really, I actually really like a, a good peanut butter breath. To me, I mean, shit, man. A really, really, really good, like, OG Kush still to me is like, mm -hmm. somebody, cause like, I know a couple people that like, have it to perfection. Like, it's still, it's busting with anything yeah. today. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it's, it, so it's whatever. So yeah, to me, that is really, is really nice. Mm -hmm. um, I like the cookies and the different cookie strains. This yo play. Yeah, yo play. It really might be the one yeah. right now. It's I don't even like know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what it like is a combination of whatever. Probably. Because what the hell? That sounds like some dope too. Yeah, it's something. <laughs> it's something. Yeah. Yeah. So uh Bongs Woods. Frontos or papers? I uh mostly uh I roll frontos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's it. No, you you don't be smoking no bongs, no pipes, or nothing like that. Uh, man, I would. I I I used to have a bong. Mm -hmm. I probably would hit it. I could get a bong. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I just haven't. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. But 
if I hit a bong now, it'd probably fuck me up. Yeah. Cause I'm so used to like smoking blunts, yeah. I'd probably hit it and it'd be like, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Straight Everybody up. say that. Yeah. Sure. So, but uh, I'm down. Do you have a crazy or a funny high story other than the, the first one? <laughs> <laughs> Very little on the life? Yeah. Uh, Damn, I don't know. It's something that's kind of like inappropriate. <laughs> like, like, I don't know. Just times when like, just times when like getting pulled over hella high with like doing some shit we really wasn't supposed to be doing. It just be like I've never been this scared ever yeah. like in my life type shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, one time, I was with my brother once again, who basically is the one who taught me how to smoke weed. Mm -hmm. um, this fool said. Oh yeah, you ever seen somebody Wu Tang a blunt? And I'm like, what does that mean? And he's like, and he had just come back from some trip or some shit. I can't think. I can't remember. We were on the steps at Oakland High, and he just like took the roach. It was like, and he hit it, and then he just inhaled it. The whole roach? They inhaled the roach. Yes. What the fuck? Why? I don't know. <laughs> Why you do that? And then he like yacked. He thought yeah. he was like being that look cool, and yeah. he threw up right yeah. after. You thought you were doing something. I was like, bro. <laughs> right. But it's a thing, apparently. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? That was a pretty weird thing that happened when I was one of the first times I smoked weed yeah, and shit. Like I was like, why? Why would you do that? Right. What the fuck was the point? Then you throw up? That, look, look how dumb you look. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay, so I got two more questions before we get up out of here. We know you got to go. Well, so, it's all uh, good. So, uh, are you into uh, anything else such as like, you know, shrooms or acid, anything mm. like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so yes and yes. Okay. So I only done acid once, but it was amazing and I loved it. What do you like about it? Because I hear a lot of stories. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love this. I love shrooms. I love that. I'd be scared though. I've done, you never done shrooms no, or I, acid? No, no. Oh, Should I be scared? Um, I mean, yeah, probably a little bit. Yeah, see. You should respect it. Mm. Like that kind of fear. Right. But it's not, you know, nothing's going to happen. Right. You're not going nowhere. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know, like, but they make you, you, will like you, yeah, you, you will kind of go somewhere. You will kind of go somewhere a little bit. Yeah. But I, I didn't mess with mushrooms like quite a few times, like since I was like a teenager or whatever. Right. I'll still eat some mushrooms today. Mm -hmm. Like even like microdosing and shit. I done done all that. Like and it's and it's honestly it's pretty. You know. It's a pretty beautiful experience, but damn near acid is was a little bit cleaner. Like as far as like having like a real mushroom eye yeah. like and shit and it kind of might fuck up your stomach a little bit yeah. that'd be the only thing honestly yeah. I would that's what young Barry said he said that shit fucked that, up his man, stomach I know and that that's it's always you don't know when it's if if or when it's gonna happen you'd be like oh I'm cool and then yeah. you're like wait a minute I feel kind of funny right right I hate that shit yeah okay uh, but doing acid like that doesn't happen you know what I mean like I I did it like I said, just one time it was on my birthday. Mm -hmm. I think it was when I it was when I turned 30 mm -hmm. actually, and it was pretty amazing. Like uh, I had had it, you know. I don't know how it was you get like a little tab on a piece of paper mm -hmm. and shit, but my partner just had like this big ass like looked like a sheet, and it was all acid. It was like before you like break it up and yeah, shit, yeah. whatever. I guess and, like the he, whole just, he gave he just broke off a piece, gave <laughs> yeah. it to me, and I was gone forever yeah. but you have to be prepared for like the next 12 hours to just be chalked up yeah you yeah. can't do nothing the next right. day low key yeah, yeah if you're that. gonna do it right you okay. should do that shit. yeah i want to try it I, I will when i find some i find the right person to give me some yeah i'll try that shit. come on sure, now sure. we only live once why not you ain't right? never done that either no man. Yeah, mushrooms either no <laughs> oh, shit. i want to kev said that too i remember or wait nah he he nah he fuck with mushrooms and shit. Actually. A lot of people do. A lot of people but, do. I mean, it's pretty. Try that shit. It's not. Yeah, mushrooms are pretty chill because you can eat a little bit. Right. Like acid, you that is not really a thing. Like you kind of go to Pluto a little mm -hmm. bit. Right. Oh yeah. <laughs> but you can't just. But you can just be like, oh, I'll just eat a little mushroom mm -hmm. right quick. Right. And be fit. You feel like you honestly. A lot of people, you probably eat them for the first time and yeah, not feel right. nothing. Oh, and like, mm -hmm. you feel me? Right. A lot of people yeah. do that because they don't eat enough because right. they're just like, oh. Uh, I don't feel shit. Right, right. Like you, maybe you needed to, you know what I'm saying? Right. You need it more, and then you, all of a sudden, you yeah. go. Is it true that you have to be in a, a good headspace for you to do it? Yes. Yeah, okay. I would so say that so. Is true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so you have to be right first. I mean, who's really in a good headspace? You know what I'm saying? But no, at the right, same right. time, Who is? but at the same time, like it is important to 
just be aware, to be comfortable type shit. Right. Like, if you could be comfortable for real, for real, then, like, yeah, you'd be like, I don't know if I was in a great headspace right. like that shit, yeah. but it was a beautiful experience, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but, yeah, I would say, I would recommend, definitely, if you're going through something. Yeah, don't even do that. If you, like... Going through something, actually, like, no, nah, don't do that. Yeah, shit. for sure. Just wait. Okay. <laughs> Take that advice, y'all. Wait for, wait that. for, you know what I'm saying? Wait a minute. Right, right. It'll be there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for sure, for sure. So, uh, last question: favorite stoner movie or uh or show? Or something. Ooh, damn. I mean, shit. This is probably gonna be what everybody says, but Friday. Friday. Mm -hmm. Classic. It's, yeah. it's basically the goat, like yeah. to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, what, like, I mean, I like, like, you know, movies like Pineapple Express. I love Half Baked, but Friday is really running it up. That's the one. Right still, there. you can still laugh. The that first one first to me. Yeah, yeah, the first one. To me, yeah. I love them all, but to me, the first one is like a was a was a cultural moment. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, for sure. For but sure, yeah, for I was sure. I would go with Friday to Friday. answer that question. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people don't say Friday. You know, probably oh, okay. one, one person don't hear that say Friday. Mm -hmm. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Everybody That's what I was like, thinking. I was yeah. like, everybody didn't say Friday. Uh, yeah, everybody everybody be saying like Pineapple Express or Macadam go to high school or like mm. how high and like that. Those mm. are funny, but yeah, that's what's really funny. Every time you see it. You how high up there too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure, for sure. I bang it. Well, this has been another segment of Sparking Up with Vans and Weed, man. We got past fucking with us. We outside in the nature and shit like that, man. You want, you want to shout out anything before we get up out of here? Oh, man. Shout out Grand National. Shout out to my kids. Shout out to my moms. Shout out to my partner apes. Shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to Vans and Weed. You know. Shout out to the mm -hmm. motherfucking nature, mother nature. All type of the trees, all that. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. You know. Shout out to my album. It's called Flowers. We'll get that. Tap in, it's on all platforms. Sure. Yeah.